and the rain has begun to come down from behind me right now. That's why I might be hitting the lens, obstructing a little bit of our view. There is a lot of anxiety tonight, but was there enough action? We're here outside Fire Station 70, where this large sand pile has remained largely untouched. We drove around a large part of Malibu tonight and didn't see a lot of sandbags in place, didn't see that K rail. So hopefully this doesn't come back to burn an area that has already seen way too much fire. Tonight, rain is falling in Malibu, normally a welcome sight, but after the Woolsey fire tore through here earlier this month, hundreds of homes are now at risk of possible mudslides. A little bit nervous. We've set up sandbags. Sand piles were popular spots to be today around Malibu. Two-man strategy. It's the cruel reality of going through a wildfire, the inevitable danger of mudslides come the next big rain, and that rain could come tonight. It's pretty bad, the area, but we put about... 100 sandbags down this hill here. Malibu resident Stan Smith lost his home in the Woolsey fire. He's been staying with a neighbor ever since and spent the afternoon today bagging sand for another neighbor. Our particular house doesn't exist anymore, so we don't have to worry about it too much and it goes down into a ravine. Um, but uh, our neighbor's house, um, if it comes down the hill, if it gets really bad, then it's going to come down in their house. And on top of it all, it feels like a third world country and no one's really listening. Many homes here are still without power. June Feldman has been living off a generator for nearly three weeks. I don't think that people in the United States, especially in this community, should be without power for eight to 10 weeks. This is insanity. What was once a dirt lot is now packed end to end with utility trucks and equipment ready to head back out to work tomorrow. And for those lucky few today, that hard work paid off. What was that no. moment like when it came back on? It was like, oh my gosh, is this real? <laughs> you know, and we're walking around just flipping switches and we were so excited. And the hope is that everyone without power gets it back on pretty soon. As we saw about a year ago in Montecito, these mudslides can take people by surprise. If you are in a burn area, you're supposed to get an evacuation plan in order. Have several routes out of your home. Have a go bag ready to go with things ready to leave at a moment's notice. Because if this weather turns even worse than it is right now, things could turn south in quite a hurry. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.